Yes, as you see, we do have here uh, grapes, we do have apples, we do have apricot and plum. Our plan is to sell the fruit to, to the people. We will teach some young people about agriculture here. We will have teachers, they will come teach them about how to take care of the trees and uh, to take care of this farm. The settlement behind me is called Kamatsu. It's been here since 1982 and there's about 400 settlers who live here. The aim of this project is to stop the settlers from coming here, having picnics on it, um, making it their leisure place. It's to give the villagers of Beit Omar their independence back. This project, it's already, it held about 10 families. And since we start to work until today, there is about 45 workers. They receive money and they will have a good job here. A week ago, they were came here, they were give him a border demolition to stop uh, the work here. But for him, he ignored that because he believed uh, this land, it has all the documents and he have the right to continue to work here. The plan of the army, they try to make life here for the worker complicated is not to continue, but because of his experience today, he is continuing and he doesn't care about uh, all of that. So he doesn't afraid to go in jail. The main uh, door for this land, it's black since two months by the Israeli army when they built the fence. The first they broke, they blocked by this, rocks. After that, they bring the block and the fence and they build it here. They start to build it. We start to ask to move it. We did call the officer, he came here two times to negotiate with him how he can open this area. And he promised three times, but he did nothing here. We are just working in the land. We, we are not working against the security. It's like uh, useful action. And this project will help like all this area in the future. My name is Greta Void. I'm from the United States. I've been really impressed with the opportunity to have a project like this developed in occupied Palestine to provide jobs for, um, for the local community members and to really give them a chance to have hope. This fence here is really preventing this project from continuing to develop and grow. To me, it seems as though the Israeli army is really using this as a bullying tactic to continue to, to push down and smash the hopes and growth of, of this village. My name is Yoav Peck, and I'm uh, director of the Sulcha Peace Project. I'm just amazed to come here and to see that a couple of months ago, the army, uh, uh, my army, uh, came to block off the entrance here, as you see. I, I can't begin to fathom what it is that uh, inspired this, except uh, just to make life uh, more difficult for the Palestinians. Unless there's a very clear security uh, reason for erecting this fence, uh, we're going to demand that it, it be taken down. They don't want people to have their own income because they know in the future this project can work very well, can make, can help more people. Uh, you can, you make life here. Yeah. But this is how uh, they, in this actions, how they stop our life. <laughs>